For people with insomnia, there's a new prescription sleep drug called Balsamra. It acts on the brain differently than current medications. But is that the way to go? Consumer Reports took a closer look. Here's Jennifer Krause with Consumer Matters. As many as 70 million Americans are all too familiar with tossing and turning, constantly checking the time and waking up exhausted. Susan Hodera worries about how her insomnia will affect her waking hours. I have to be careful that I'm not just like crashing my car or walking into a wall. <sighs> sleep. Ask your doctor about Belsamra. This TV ad from Merck promotes its new sleep medication and how it's different chemically from older medications. Consumer Reports worked with medical experts at Dartmouth Medical School to analyze Belsamra's effectiveness and safety. The research shows that people who took 15 or 20 milligrams of Belsamra got an average of about 16 minutes more sleep per night and fell asleep about six minutes faster compared to those who took a placebo. The studies also showed that the small improvements in sleep didn't necessarily translate into people feeling more refreshed. One of the most common side effects was next day drowsiness. That happened more than twice as often with people who were in the test group versus people who took a placebo. Along with drowsiness, there were rare reports of hallucinations and temporary paralysis while falling asleep or even waking up. Bottom line is that since all prescription sleep medications can have serious side effects and offer only a limited benefit, we recommend trying other strategies first and avoiding drugs if at all possible. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5. And for people with occasional insomnia, try a few things. You can quit smoking, cut back on the caffeine and alcohol in the afternoon and evening, and don't watch TV in bed or use your computer in bed. For those with more persistent problems, working with a cognitive behavioral therapist is found to help by about 80%, 80% of people who suffer with chronic insomnia.